Well, did you know that Pittsburgh is home to the only national aviary in the country? It's always a fun and educational experience visiting the aviary, especially when you get to hang out with two toed sloths. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Adorable. That's where we find <laughs> Selena Pompiani this morning. And Selena, there's a sloth encounter going on right now at the aviary until 10 o'clock. Who are you hanging out with this morning? Yes. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Kristen and Mikey. We are hanging out with Valentino here. He is so cute. So at the National Aviary, they have three two-toed sloths. So we have Valentino here, Vivian, who celebrated her fourth birthday last weekend, and Wookie. And I'm here with Kathy Schlott this morning. She's the Director of Animal Programs and Experiences. He is so cute, Kathy. Tell me about Valentino. Valentino is adorable. He is a Linnaeus's two-toed sloth. And you can tell he's a two-toed sloth by looking at his front feet. You can see they have two toes there. All sloths have three toes on the back. So it's the front two that counts oh. versus three versus two. Okay, so what are you feeding Valentino? So he gets a very nutritious diet here. He gets a bunch of different vegetables. He likes squash, sweet potato, um, zucchini sticks. He also gets some fruit like papaya, cranberries, wow. and lots of leafy greens. Oh, so I thought it was so interesting. I asked you earlier, you know, why are they so slow moving? And I know they have a slow metabolism, but you told me an interesting fact that I still can't <laughs> believe. <laughs> yes, because they're going to eat in the rainforest is like harsh, like leafy greens though that are not full of nutrients or really low, um, low calorie items they have to process very slowly. And because of that, it can take a month for them to process what they're feeding today. But what's crazy is that they only go to the bathroom once every 10 to 14 days. That is so wild. I can't even imagine that. So you have three of these beautiful creatures here at the National Aviary. Mm -hmm. Why bring sloths here? Well, sloths share a lot of the same habitats as birds in the rainforest of Central and South America. And so we want to teach everyone about biodiversity, about the animals that all share these habitats and rely on the same things. And how if you're helping to protect sloths or you're helping to protect birds, you're really helping to protect everyone that's use it, using those environments. So cool. I love watching them move. They're so flexible. Can I try to feed oh, Valentino? Definitely. Here's a oh. sweet potato. It's one of his favorites. Here you go. You just got to get oh, nice and close. Get yes. that in there. I was Good nervous job. at first, but they really are slow moving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so they're okay. And they're very, very nice. Yes. So coming up this fall, Kathy, I know you have a new season, which is really exciting, that mm -hmm. highlights forests. Tell me more about it. Yes, it's going to be great. We have some amazing daily activities that people will come in and be able to take. Like the forest edge feeding is going to be our wetlands of America's room. Ooh. We have um, a new barred owl talk in front of our barred owl habitat. Oh. And that's sponsored by PA Cyber. We're gonna have different biofacts, feathers. Um, guests will be able to touch things and learn all about owls and other daily activities as oh, well. So it's I gonna be it. a lot of fun. So that new season's kicking off September 8th and I love all of your fall events because fall is my favorite season. Oh, yes. We're almost there and it's exciting to welcome all of these cool things here at the aviary. Yes, and Halloween is coming back this Ooh, year too. Halloween! So that's right around the corner <gasps> in October. Oh, I can't wait, <laughs> Kathy. We'll be seeing you then, I'm, I'm sure, but thanks for letting us come in today and hang out with Valentino. Can I touch his yes, back again? Yes, go ahead and touch his back. <gasps> He's so soft. Oh my gosh, Mikey and Kristen, he is so cute. I'm telling you, <laughs> one of the sweetest animals right here, Valentino. See, I was Say with hi, you, Valentino. Selena. I was nervous at first, but he looks topic. so sweet. It's a little unfortunate that he only goes to the bathroom every 14 days. We're gonna have to get him some <laughs> Metamucil or something. <laughs> I just wonder how the blood doesn't rush to his head hanging upside down all that time. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Kathy told me that too. They're meant to be upside down all the time. So this is normal for him. This is perfectly normal for him. Yep. So cool. He sees the world Thanks, in a whole guys. new perspective. All right. So fun, Selena. Thank you. <laughs> and like good. Selena said, the aviary's new season focusing on forests begins soon, September 8th. Valentina was so cool. All right, coming up, if you're a fan of music, Sean Collier has an event you're going to love. It's a little bit rock, a little bit reggae, and a whole lot of fun. Hear all about it in today's Weekend Guide.
And why is Mikey eating on the job? I need that job. We'll check another item, actually two items, off the end of summer bucket list when PTL returns.